Assalamu alaikum, viewers. Let's see the beginning of the episode. Gauncha, sitting in the cold market, looking at the side of the dagger, is remembering Alaudin, and says, My team is upset with me. You didn't believe me. My heart asks me, If I were in your place, what would I do? You are right in your place, she says. She also remembers the moment when she gave the dagger to Alaudin. After this thought, she says, crying, I wish this never happened. Meanwhile, Mehmet comes there. When Gunja gets up and moves ahead, he says, Gunja, wait, we have to talk. The girl turns around while listening and Mehmet says with tears in his eyes, Baba left us here so that he does not let Usman be free in his head. Your mind is still. So Gonka says while talking to him, I have put my mind on my duty, brother. You take care of your work. They say that when the bride Gonka goes, Mehmet says, Gonka, you are my responsibility until this Baba is not here. Don't even think of meeting Alauddin. So Gonka says, Who has made you my supervisor? You and I will only fulfill our duties. Yoban Mehmet says, There is one Alauddin in my, or else I will kill you with him. After hearing this, Gonka says, You will kill me, right? Okay, then kill me. Come on, kill me. He says the knife gives him the knife and says, Kill me, kill me. What are you waiting for? Just kill me. So Mehmet, screaming, says, Stop it, what are you doing? He says, The knife throws it, and further says, Control yourself. So Gonka says, You can't kill someone who has already died. I'm dead. Forgot? How can you forget, brother? Everyone remembers. I am Gonka, Yakub Sahib's daughter, the spy Gonka. How can you speak? Mehmet says while screaming, Control yourself, Gonka. Have you lost your mind? But Gonka cries out in tears. At this moment, Gonka turns to the other side after Jerkutai comes, and Jerkutai asks Mehmet, Tajuddin Noyan is here. After hearing this, Gonka asks, Why is he here? Joraban Mehmet says, I don't know. But we will see Gonka on this, Gonka says. Tajuddin Noyan can never come for a good cause. Be careful. In Yaini City, we see that Usman is eating with his family. Ghazi doesn't eat and is looking at the food in his hand. Ghazi, aren't you hungry? Why aren't you eating? Are you thinking about your father? Usman says, I was very happy to meet my father, but we separated again. Usman says, son, he has gone there for a job. Don't worry, he will come back after the job. Ghazi says, I will endure this separation happily until the country is safe. And Urhan says to Malhun that you are looking very sad. What is the matter? If you are worried about Tajuddin, then we will take help from him. Then Allah Adin asks, Malhun Ma, is there any other matter? Malhun said to Usman Sahib, I want to say something, if you permit me. Usman Sahib says, you can say it. Malhun says, son, I have been dreaming for many days. I was in a dream. I was on the way to Hajj. I will go to Hajj with my sons. Fatima gets worried after hearing this, but everyone else is very happy. Let's see that Tajuddin Noyan enters Mehmet's tent. After seeing him, Mehmet says, Tajuddin Noyan was happy. You came to our tribe and gave us honour. So Noyan says, I have heard that Mr. Yakub has taken the market to his children and left it. This market is finally the property of Alhani, that is, my way. He says he sits on the throne. Mehmet and Gonka get very angry at this. Noyan says, I want to see how it is. Mehmet says, you have heard right. When the horse rests, his child works. When the children grow up, the father rests. My father has left me and my sister here to raise him. Then Gonka says, Tajuddin Noyan, is this the only thing that has brought you here without being called? Noyan says, after listening to them, you are definitely Gonka Katun. They are shocked to hear the name of Gonka from her mouth. And Noyan says, you are right. The reason I came to the market is not only this. If Mr. Jakob is not present here, then his son is present here. I want to talk to him alone. With this, everyone goes on the signal of Mehmet. And Noyan stands up and says, We are alone, Mr. Amar. So Mehmet says, What does the nephew of the great and the great want to talk to me? Noyan says, We will talk about the enemy, Usman. After this, we see that in the city, Erhan asks Malun Khatun, When will you go by the command of God? So Malun Khatun says, If God does not want tomorrow morning, as she hears this, Fatima comes to her with a sigh and says, Why so soon, mother? Take me along with you. I can't live without you. 
She says as she starts crying, Malhun starts hugging her. And Usman says, My dear daughter, you can't go like this. You will go there, I will go to Jar. Then Allah says, Allah gives you a safe journey, Malhun Amma. Please send our greetings to those blessed lands which is called Malhun Khatun. Insha Allah, my son, Insha Allah. I didn't want to leave you in this difficult time, but I had to do this after seeing. Gee, the same dream again and again. Hearing this, Bala Ahdun says, Don't worry, Malhun, we will take care of here. After this, Orhan says, Mother, don't worry, you can go without worrying. Then Ghazi says, Safe journey, Malhun Khatun, because there is a long way ahead of you, you can also need a healer. Right? I say that, take the Prince Udin with you. Hearing this, everyone starts laughing. Orangol says, Look here, do you want this for Malhun Khatun, or for yourself? I want to marry Malhun Khatun. It would be good for the prince, too. Okay, my lord, if he goes, then Usman says with a smile. No, no, Alaudin has his duty. He can't go anywhere. But you can go. The Ghazi stands up and says, No, no, I have a duty, too. You already know. Now I ask for permission, my lord. He says and goes. His big words start to rain. And Fatima is very upset after this. We see that Elcham says with her weapon it seems like she will not do anything. I will see my work myself. She says that when she moves forward, fate brings food there. After seeing that, Elcham says, Thank you, please keep it there. After hearing this, fate says, Keeping the food, Elcham Khatun is being told with her sword at midnight, but Elcham Khatun kills her with the knife and makes her unconscious. And then she leaves the room in a state of, This is why you could not compete with Usman, because he is not a hasty person. Yakub did not break the hand that could not bend. In the end, he had to shake hands with him. But Usman abused your father's good intentions. May Allah keep us safe from such people. Mehmet, you are different from your father. You can break this hand. So Mehmet says, Usman drives people towards destruction in the base of dreams. Now he's preparing to face you. I'm not like my father at all. I will break that hand. Hearing this, Noyan says, very good. We will soon go on a mission full of treasure and fame. You will give me the soldiers for this mission. Hearing this, Mehmet stands up and says, My father will not allow this, Tajuddin Noyan. So Noyan also stands up and says, On this occasion, you are becoming a coward again. You need to remember this. Why should your father leave his house and run towards the fort? You need to understand that you are going against him. On this, Mehmet says, I have not yet opposed Tajuddin Noyan. So Noyan says, This is your duty. I will break that hand. Noyan says, Noyan, I will not let you go. I will break that hand. Noyan says, Noyan, I will not let you go. Noyan says, Noyan, I will not let you go. Please convince your father and I will support you in the fight against Osman so much that I can break that hand for you. Jaban Mehmet says, We are ready to break that hand. But I have a question for you. Will you answer me? Did you kill my father with that arrow? Or listening to this, he says while removing his ring. This is my family ring. The moment I will send this ring to Tabriz. At that time, every servant of the Tal Khans will come to my aid. One lakh, or up to two lakh. Then I will make the plan of the killing of your father. Don't insult me by saying such things. So Mehmet says, I asked him, and I got my answer. Then Noyan says, if you stay with me, all these lands will be yours. We will do a great job together, Mehmet. Hearing this, Mehmet gets into thoughts. There we see that in Yenishar, the army is moving forward with the Urahan soldiers, when Elcham Khatun also moves forward from the other side after leaving the room. And there she sees a soldier and drops something. The soldier next to him runs to him, so Elcham Khatun throws him on the ground and moves forward. The soldier says loudly, Elcham Khatun is running, catch them. This voice reaches to Orhan's ears, and he says, This will not stop, soldiers, catch it. He says, When Orhan moves forward, Elcham Khatun is running away. Seeing them running, Orhan says, Khatun, stop. But Elcham Khatun does not stop, they run away. Seeing this, Orhan says, you are trying to be useless. She also ran away from Alkim Khatun. Viewers, this is the end of the episode. If you like the video, 
then like the video, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon. Inshallah, see you in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself and your loved ones. Allah nakawan.